Good morning. It's Thursday, May the 12th, 2016, and we're continuing our discussion of the Lord's Prayer slash Disciples Prayer, and we're in the phrase, give us this day our daily bread. We stated yesterday and even the day before that God wants to provide for his people. He's a good God. And as we abide in covenant with God, there are conditions to be met in order to receive the benefits of the covenant. And we're discussing one of the conditions that we must meet in order to appropriately ask God to give us this day our daily bread. The first condition that we're talking about, there are four of them, is that we must be in the will of God. And inside the first condition to be met in this covenant of asking God to be our provider, even as we discovered in Jehovah Jireh, his desire to set in store the provision that we need, the first condition that we must meet is to be in the will of God. And the first building block in that condition we talked about on Tuesday, that is being a right relationship with Jesus through a personal prayer life and time in the Word of God. We could call that a devotional life. The, the second uh, building block in this being in the will of God, we talked about yesterday on Wednesday, and that was being in right relationship, right fellowship with those in the body of Christ and those around us. Now, the third building block in, in this first condition to be met in asking appropriately of God to give us what we need is to have a balanced and diligent work habit. In other words, we have to be faithful to execute the responsibilities that have been assigned to us, either when we're the business owner or when we work for someone else. And let me read this for us all from 1 Thessalonians. And here's what it says in, in chapter 4 and verse 11 and 12. That you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands as we commanded you, that you may walk properly toward those who are outside and that you may lack nothing. Well, that's a powerful verse that we're going we're gonna to work with our hands doing what we've been called to do, what we've been assigned to do. And then it's easy. We're not slothful. We're not sloppy at our work. We're not a slacker when we're employed by somebody or we're doing something around our house. Well, as the Word of God says, whatsoever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, for there is no work in the grave where we're going, paraphrasing it. And it also says in 2 Thessalonians, in chapter 3, 10, if any will not work, neither should they eat. So this is about being faithful to our responsibilities so that when we come to God, we're no, we know beyond a doubt we're in His will because we've been keeping the conditions that had to be met. So we, when we abide in covenant, relationship with God, it includes our responsibility to be right with Jesus through prayer and through a time in the Word. It includes that we must be in right fellowship with those around us, and then we must have a diligent and balanced work habit. Then we have confidence. We approach God. And, and we know, because we're in His will, His desire is to provide for our personal needs. When we're doing what God asks of us, when He says, I'm going to take care of you, but I expect you to do this. And when we do it, we got boldness before the throne of God. Let's pray together. Lord, today, many people are going to be headed to work. Maybe they finish their day and they're watching this devotional. Whichever case... We know that our days are filled with responsibilities. Lord, help us to execute those responsibilities in a proper fashion, not to overwork ourselves, but to do diligently what we have responsibility to get done, not being slackers. And then, Lord, it's going to be easy for us to approach you and say, Oh, God, we know we're walking in your will because we can test it according to your word. And so now, Lord, give us today what we have need of, we trust that you have our best in mind and that everything really belongs to you so you can use it for our purposes to fulfill your purpose in our life. 
Thank you, Jesus, for doing that. Amen. Well, let's get our work done today with a right attitude and be blessed because we're walking in the will of God. Have a great day.